This is a special moment because this is our first oil change in the FL5. So our last thing on our list for today for track prep is an oil change. For the first oil change, we have 1,500 miles on the edge. This is like the first ever oil change, which is really nice because we also did a track day, so it needed it either way. But since we are tracking this car and using it for track days while still street driving it, we're swapping over to the VR1. Typically for the stock car, you'll use OW20, but since we are racing it, it's getting high heat, lots of wear. The VR1 actually has a high zinc content, which helps with wear protection. So we're actually swapping, going a little bit with a heavier weight, 10W30, just to help prevent anything. And this is also what we run in the race car. Track season is upon us, and that means we need lots of practice. As the weather starts to get cooler, more and more track days start popping up, and also more and more competitions start popping up. Really for the rest of the year, we have a lot of competitions coming up. That means getting as much seat time as possible is the most important thing before those competitions. You guys saw us do all of the little upgrades to the F05. I kind of consider this as my quote unquote seat time car for the FK8, so we're not putting too much stress on all of our actual competition parts and everything that we have going on for that car. This car is basically stock with very minimal mods um but similar similarly similar sim similarly similarly to the fk just without all of the power and arrow so i consider the fo5 as a really great seat time car that i can drive to and from the track 30 miles per gallon and feel comfortable on the way to and from the track but also so set some really great times at the track. So with that, we have a very fun track day coming up for you guys. We get to test the new alignment, the new brakes, and of course run the car with the brand new VR1 oil that we put in and just have some fun and get some practice in. So we're heading out to SoCal Drivers Club, which if you guys are in Southern California and looking for a track event to go to, SoCal Drivers Club is the absolute best organization to go with. There's no traffic, it's open open testing all day. It's great for beginners all the way up to advanced plus and they have competitions now, which is super cool. Starting route to Chukwala Valley Raceway. I haven't been back since we blew up the S2000. So this is gonna be a very interesting track day. Um, anyways, we're gonna go up the night before, hang out with everybody and then have a full day at the track tomorrow and have some fun. So we're all packed up, ready to go. See you guys at the track. You guys know that along with cars, another one of my big passions is health and fitness. And whether I'm racing at the track, building cars in the shop, or traveling for events, I try and eat as healthy as possible. And that can be really difficult at the track or at the airport. But I wanna give a big thank you to today's video sponsor that helps me stay on track with my health and fitness, Factor. Factor meals are fresh, ready-made meals that get delivered to your doorstep. Factor cuts down on grocery trips and cooking, so there's a lot more time for me to edit and work in the shop. Also, Factor has so many nutritious options for keeping my fridge well stocked, like smoothies and juices, perfect for easy snacking. Also, there's a ton of options that make it really easy to stick to my goals. The specific ingredients in Factor meals are fresh and never frozen. There's no hormones, antibiotics, refined sugars, or GMOs, you can head over to Factor's website, factor75.com, and use my code Williams50 to get 50% off of your first Factor box. So again, if you guys wanna try these meals out for yourself, it's gonna be the first link down in the description box below, and make sure to use my code Williams50 to get 50% off of your first box to help stay on track with your fitness and meal goals. Let's get back to today's video. I'm gonna show you guys this. This is actually pretty rad. So, out in Chuckwalla, we are in the middle of the absolute desert. I'm talking like middle of nothing. Nearest gas station is 20 miles away. But out here, you can get track cabins. How sick is this? So, it's kind of like mini camping out at the track. Track's right over there, but you can rent some cabins and do a little cabin check real fast. This is so dope. This is my first time ever staying in the Chuckwalla cabin, so let's check this out here. I'm not dirty, okay. 
Dude, look at this. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is absolutely insane. We have a fridge? Yeah, I could have brought some freaking meals. Oh my gosh. So this is gonna be our home for the night. Let's check out the room in here. This is absolutely insane. It's perfect. 996 on the wall in red. Nice. This is where we're gonna be camping out for the night. Stoked. Well, got everything set up and ready for the track, doing a little bit of editing. I just picked this up today and I was really hoping to play Starfield on it, but unfortunately I left before it could finish downloading and there's no freaking service here, so RIP to that idea. This thing is absolutely sick though. Batteries are charged. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. It's gonna be a super fun track day with so many friends tomorrow. I had a track I haven't been to in years and it's the opposite way, so it's not clockwise, so it's really different. We're gonna have a good time. It'll be a lot of fun to test out the FL5 and get some seat time in before the competition starts. So see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Let's go race some cars. All right, today we're gonna mess with some pressures. We're gonna do 28 in the rear and 26 in the front to hopefully get these, get these rear tires to slide a little bit. But as you guys saw, we got the new brake pads, got new fluids in, yeah, new oil, new brake fluid, and this thing should be ready to rip. Like I told you guys, it's a little bit different. Number one, I haven't been to this track in two years, but also it's backwards. We're going the opposite way than normal. So double learning curve there, but I think it'll make for a fun day. We're gonna get our tire pressures ready and hop out. Okay, to be completely honest, I have no idea what I'm about to be doing. So we're just gonna figure it out together. Hopefully we can uh, try and stay a little bit behind this Camaro. See where in the hell we're supposed to go, but you know. I hope I definitely didn't turn traction control on. Fantastic. 2032 for our first time here in two years and counterclockwise. I'll take it. Obviously, we can improve a lot, but that's actually not too bad. There's so many cool cars out here today. We've got Hakone Edition 86 Brembos, but what I'm super excited about is Mike's car over here. If you guys have been watching the channel and have watched the track day videos, you guys have seen the progression of the Boss Boss Supra. Hi. It's just now it's now it's unbelievable. Yeah, it's, it's not, crazy. It's not even fair. Yeah, I know. Wait till you get a little bit. Let's see it. Oh baby, the RS Future Aero. Last time you guys saw this car, it was just like, 
in the no era. You had um, just done the suspension and broke your suspension. Yeah. RIP to that. <laughs> now it's full on race car craziness. This thing is so sick. I mean, you can see all the venting he did up here. He's got a massive splitter and the RS Future wing back there now. Man, wow. I don't think they saw the Brembo brakes either. No, this is a company called Signature Works. They do a Camaro ZL1 kit that's retrofitted to the suit brand like uh, BMWs. And I'm, I gotta say, it's like really good. This is why I can't come to the track with you because I'm, I just, I want a Supra. I need a Supra. You'll drive one today. I think I might get a little sprinkle of a Supra today. Mike just let me drive this car and have a little bit of fun. I'm just gonna, you know, ferry around the track, but. It'll be fun, dude. It'll Especially be with the, the wing, it's not yeah. oversteering at all. In fact, really? it's now understeering. So, oh, okay. Yeah. I'll be used to that then. <laughs> so we're gonna go out with Mike in just a bit and see him run. Also, before we go back out, I have one person I want you guys to meet, and that is John right over here. A lot of you guys don't know this because we didn't really film any of it, but John is actually who I bought our Porsche from. What's up, dude? What's up? Our purchase helped him with his purchase here. A GT, brand new GT3 RS. You went from a SC to a GT3 RS, yeah. like a madman. <laughs> this beautiful GT3 RS, which he's gonna be tracking today. Unbelievable, dude. It all worked out. Yeah, yeah, I'm so excited to see you rip this thing. Does it have an exhaust yet? It's uh, just a side muffler deletes. Okay. But it's nice. all good. This is my favorite part. Yeah. Oh, it's so it. good. <laughs> Baller, dude. So, oh, also, center lock Advan GTs on gyro disc rotors. Insane, guys. Oh, of course, Voltex wing. What? All right, the squad's going out. We've got Mike in his Supra. We've got the Hakone Edition 8.6. Let's go out in the Type R. Have some fun today. Well, dude, it's it's a battle now. <laughs> it's a battle. We're fighting for JDM Street Class. I just passed him by tenths of a second, five tenths of a second. You can do it. I'm gonna try, man. My man was about to pack up and leave, and then I'm nope. Try. I believe in you. <laughs> All right, here go the boys. He's got to get five tenths of a second to beat me in first, and he's gonna try and go fast. You're in a 55. He's an absolute psycho. Well, let's go watch him. All right, getting ready to start his flyer. Let's see what he runs. I ain't got 
enough tire left, dude. It's in the car, but I don't have the tires left. No. <laughs> you got it, dude. <laughs> hey, that was fun as hell, though, dude. <laughs> hell yeah, man. I'll see you back out there. Yeah, I'll see you. After a hard fought battle, this was so much fun. <laughs> that was awesome, man. Super awesome, man. It's, it's good having great competition. It is, it's the best time. Yeah, that's a race to the Born ready for this. That was also super fun. This is my first time ever getting to drive a Supra on track. I know I'm gonna turn around tomorrow and wanna go buy a Supra, so you guys gotta talk me out of it. I'm gonna give you the, the, the corn juice. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, we got the good go juice here? But yeah, I'm gonna put you on my map too. Which okay, is perfect. 470 wheel. Per oh, that's scary. Unless you want the, the sauce. No, 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 no. no. I can give you the sauce. Give me whatever you're comfortable with. Give me the rundown, what's all done to it? Okay, so pretty much all the suspension's been done, all SPL stuff, minus the caster bushing up front. That's something I have to do. Uh, Titan 7, 18 by uh, 10.7. Uh, nice, good tracks. Yeah. Uh, RE71 RS is on their eighth track day, so they're pretty warm, but I'm nice to my tires. It's yeah. Uh, Downpipe, tune, flex fuel intake, so just basic bolt ons, RS feature wing. Yeah, full thin, aero package. Yeah. Coming in? No, dude. You're going for it. I'm a little scared here. We're gonna go have some fun. It's so big. It's so big. So fucking fast, dude. God, 201. I'm like, just like, yeah. 
Wow. It's so good, dude. Wow. Dude, that was insane. It's cheating, right? It's so good. It's like, <laughs> it should have, nothing should be that fast. It, it's insane. Just bolt on. Oh my God. There's no going back. That was insane. Dude, thank you so much. Now my addiction is just gonna go higher and higher. I know. That was amazing. For eight day old tires, new car, like this thing felt incredible. Planted now. Yeah. I mean, straight out of the box, they're fantastic, but when you have something built to this spec, it's just, where do you even go from here? I know. I mean, I mean, you're, at this point, you're competing with something like that. Exactly. I mean, you throw on a, just like a Pure 800 Turbo, yeah. and your ceiling, I, I'm pretty sure, is like 700. Maybe I'll have to go shopping this week. Uh oh, well, we'll see. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, we're heading out, and I definitely didn't expect this, but our first, our first podium for the event. That's pretty freaking cool. The FL5 did good today. I'm super stoked. Ended out today with a 202.3 and beat our competition by five tenths of a second. So I call that a win. Now it's freaking hot and we're gonna get out of here. Whew. All right, two and a half hours later, we have finally made it home. Taken our first ever hardware back to the shop. This is honestly so freaking crazy. I had no clue that we'd be taking home first place at today's event, but this is really cool. And I know it's just a little local event, but this means a lot. It's my first ever trophy that I've ever won while driving. This just kind of motivates me to work even harder to number one, get that car in the corner ready, but also continue building this little thing. because This is so much fun to have as a C car. What other car can you load in a full day worth of track stuff in? Wheels, tires, tools, drive to and from the track 30 miles per gallon comfortably with AC go and go consistently run fast times. The Type R is an amazing car and it just, just makes you want to get more seat time. Also, the fact that we're on old, I think this is its second or third track day on these Potenza RE71Rs, not even the new RSs, just the old Rs. We were able to consistently run 203s, 202s, and ended up winning with a 202.35, which is pretty incredible for a track that, I know I've said it a million times, a track that we haven't been to in years, plus never done the counterclockwise. I am super freaking proud of this. And I hope this also motivates you guys or gets you guys interested in actually tracking your cars as well. Because what I try and preach to you guys is to drive your freaking cars. This is what they're made for, man. It just gives you a new sense of purpose with your car and a new sense of fun to actually just race and drive your car. Responsibly, but toge, most importantly track. It's just so much fun. But anyways, it's Sunday. I'm gonna try and co-relax a little bit. I got a couple of videos, got a couple of videos to edit for you guys. Still waiting on some Porsche parts here. Um, also still waiting on a ton of stuff for the Type R. So hopefully all this stuff comes in and we're gonna be super busy in the shop. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a ton of fun with the CTR. We are definitely gonna be out. I think our next day is at Buttonwillow. I think that's coming up. So my personal favorite track out here. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. Leave us a comment down below. Let's do hashtag P1, baby. Let's do that. Hashtag P1, baby. Don't forget to subscribe. We will see you guys for the next one. Peace out.